once you have logged in, you'll see your profile will be looking like something like this. You will then need to update your contact information, your education and training, your employment history. We we'll first start by updating your personal information by clicking on this tab. You will then fill in all your personal information. You will then go to your contact details, contact information, whereby you'll be filling in your contact information, your physical address and your postal address, then you click on save. You will then open your education and training tab. Once you have opened your education training tab, this is when you're going to be updating your schooling information, your qualification, other courses, unique standards and skills, and then you're going to click on save. Then you're going to move on to your employment history. If you can check at the top, it has a checkbox where you can tick on if you have never been employed. But if you have been employed before, you can untick it and then populate all your employment history and then click on save. You're also able to also add your references and then you can click on save. It's important that you always save your information after capturing and then you're going to click on view individual to view your profile information.